And when Elena was actually born, you know, five fingers, five toes on each hand and each foot and everything was fine. I stayed there for a couple of hours with Nikki, um, who's my wife, um, and I eventually went home. But a half an hour later, after getting home, Nikki called me and said, um, there's something very strange, something not right here. And all of a sudden, we had consultants coming into us, reviewing her, everything like that. So yeah, it's a platelet uh, defect, basically, where Elena's platelets don't stick together the way they should to form clots. Nikki was put on high-risk uh, pregnancy because of what they knew with Elena. We said, you know, it doesn't stop us, we want to have another child. Here you arrived, everything was good, we got our tea and toast, all was going okay, but then Alex did break out in small little dots of black and blue bruising, and it started to just become more apparent that, yeah, we're facing into the same situation. So there's no reason for it, no answer for it, um, but Alex could spend five, six weeks in hospital at a time with either a, um, a form of sepsis or nosebleeds. Coping, I suppose, how do you cope? The answer is different situations require different coping mechanisms and uh, Bartstown is one of those coping mechanisms I think that allows you to go up and forget. The, the service and the warmth, the welcome that you feel even when you get to the gate is unbelievable. Yeah, so knowing that Bartstown has a fully equipped medshed and um, you know, medical staff at the other end of a phone 24 seven is massive. We actually had to use it the first moment we arrived within milliseconds. I don't know, were they hiding in the bushes or what, but they were there and within a five, 10 minutes, everything was under control and it was as if nothing had happened, you know. They're there and they do it with a smile on their face and it's just like having another friend. When Elena went to the Arts and Crafts in Bartstown, we really found where that's where she comes alive into herself. She's so artistic. She still talks about this to this day. I'd say if you brought her in here now and sat her down, she'd say that was one of her fondest memories. And then Alex, Alex is very conservative. Doing new things and meeting new people, he can be very, very reserved. And that's due to the amount of time he spends out of um, school and stuff like that and Nikki brought him up to superhero camp and they started making some Spider-Man stuff and soon Nikki said she found him getting really comfortable and I remember going back up to collect him and the beam on his face and he was delighted with himself he had made all these things and he was showing us and he didn't stop talking about it for the rest of the night no matter what you're doing up here the aura that the place gives the buildings have character the, the trees have character it's weird I'm not like that I don't usually take in my surroundings but you just feel like you're surrounded by so much warmth that's the best way i can explain it is just pure passion and joy yeah so i just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart personally my two children have grown and developed as children because of bartstown and if i could please request that you make a donation to bartstown so it gives families like mine the opportunity to experience what we have. It is inspiring and the people up here inspire me and I know when my kids get older I want to be a volunteer up here and none of this is possible without your donation.